Hey everybody and welcome back. Now this time we're going over how to download and install Conquest Reforged on Fabric for version 1.19.2 and above. Now if you're looking for an earlier version then you'll have to stick with Forge 1.18.2 as that is the latest version only specific to Forge. Now this is just a disclaimer, I am not a part of the Conquest team, but from what I've gathered, they are not going to be updating the Forge version anymore. Moving forward, the only version to be updated will be the Fabric version, so keep that in mind with this video. Now with all that being said, this is an extremely easy way to download the mod, so don't get too worried because the process is as simple as a few simple clicks. So what you'll want to do is simply open up a launcher of your choice. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a T launcher because that's what I'm familiar with and I don't like really changing too much. But all launchers should be very similar to this so just kind of follow and use your intuition on this one. Right off the bat we're going to open up a T launcher and you'll be greeted by this screen. Now you can safely ignore this, this is just updates that um, you know the AT Launcher team kind of puts out in case there's you know something crazy going on or like mods are getting hacked or whatnot. But we're not going to worry about that because it doesn't pertain to this video. Now the next step is to click on the Packs tab on the right. This will open up mod packs for you to install that are connected to their respective websites. For Conquest Reforged, you'll want to simply click on the Mod Renth tab that's located on the left hand side and then you'll move your cursor up to the search bar and type in Conquest Reforged. Now the reason I'm telling you to select ModRenth is because the Conquest team will be updating on ModRenth more consistently than they will on CurseForge. Now I don't know all the details as to why, I think it was like a mod confliction or whatever, but it is what it is, you know, go to ModRenth, it's the easiest way. And now that you have the Conquest Reforged pulled up, you're going to want to click the New Instance button, and that will allow you to change the name of your instance, and it will also allow you to select which version you want to install. Now these will all be the fabric versions of the mod, so do not worry about selecting the wrong one. Remember, Forge is on CurseForge and older versions, ModRenth has the fabric versions. I think there are maybe one or two uh, Forge versions on ModRenth, but you can, like, get, like I said, ignore those. Now. Once you hit install, then the mod pack will load into your instance list and you'll be able to start playing immediately. Now that, that's literally that simple. Now, what if you want to add shaders or additional mods? It's as easy as clicking on the open folder button on your instance and then selecting the folder that you need. For instance, if you needed to add shaders, you would click on shader pack and drop that file in. Same thing with mods, you would drop your jar files into there for any additional mods you're gonna download. Obviously be careful, there may be conflicting mods, but you know, for the most part it's pretty compatible. But that's literally it. So other launchers may have a slightly different UI, but the theory is all the same across the board. So I hope this video helped. I hope it kind of gave you a little bit of a guiding tour through how to download the Conquest Reforged mod pack for Fabric. Um, if you have any questions, always be sure to ask them in the comments. I'll be happy to help out as best as I can and to make life a little bit easier for you. But that's about it. So this is Legendary Porpoise signing off. Have a good day. Happy gaming. And I'll catch you again for the next one.